Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to put up a content management system in Adobe Air. And this is going to be a flat file management system, which means it'll run on XML files from our server. So as opposed to the typical SQL setup where you work with content management files from a database, we'll be using flat files or XML files to uh, add and extract data. Now the big secret in Adobe Flex is that Flex sorts on the client side. So you don't need all that SQL coding on the uh, server side since Flex can actually do all that on the client side. This would be good for something where you don't need a lot of security and also for a program where you don't have a whole lot of information. It's maybe a, a small website or um, a small course. If you're getting larger and you're dealing with a lot of data, of course you want to move that onto a MySQL database, but this will provide the framework for actually uh, building that more advanced code. Now, where is the code? Well, in two places. The book Adobe Air Create, Modify, and Reuse by Mark Leshner, Todd Anderson, and Matt Wright is the book to buy, and we're actually going to use that uh, book today, grab some of the code, and put up the content management system. Here's the topics in the book. You can see in Chapter 5 we have a mini uh, CMS or mini uh, content management system. That's the system we will be putting up. Now there are a number of steps you need to take to put the system up and we're going to go through those step by step. You can get the code at www.wongs.com forward slash dynamic forward slash books forward slash download dot ASPX. And there's additional scripts which I've created that you can get from code.google.com forward slash p forward slash lively scripts and notes forward slash downloads forward slash list. Now, Here's the steps we're going to go through today. One, we're going to download and unzip the Chapter 5 code. Two, we're going to get it into a flex. And we're going to grab our additional scripts as well. Three, we're going to create folders and set permissions and on the server. Four, we're going to create and configure the settings.xml file. And five, we're going to create and upload the data set.xml and find path.php file. And six, we're going to configure the gateway.php and upload. And seven, we're going to test any bug. And eight, we're going to create the Air application. Now, that's a lot to do. And uh, we better get to it. But let me just show you some YouTube resources before we go. On my www.youtube.com forward slash Mike NKU, you can find some helpful videos that will be using uh, these techniques during this uh, exercise. FileZilla, using FileZilla to upload files to the web. And Adobe Air getting started, embedding a browser into Flex 3. So you're going to want to watch those two tutorials. Uh, they will help quite a bit because we will be using FileZilla, and we're assuming that you have a basic Air knowledge. And you can get both of those from those uh, tutorials there. Uh, below that, I have a number of files, and all this is on the server. An XML file for settings and data set, and some PHP files to find path, and then the gateway PHP. All of this is not included in the book's script, and I've actually provided it for you. So just download it from the web and copy and paste it, and you're good to go. So let's take a look at the content management system we're going to put up today. And this is all explained in the book uh, Create, Modify, and Reuse. So here you have a settings tab, and there's a verification process you need to go through. And once you're verified, you're ready to go. And you can see here's the content right here on this side. So if you click on, for example, my name, Mike, you can see you get a title, a subtitle, a body, an image, and you can upload that image to the web with a browse button. We're going to go ahead and make some uh, data here or add a piece to our XML flat file, which is on the server. So I'm going to go add item, and I've created an untitled item, so I click on that, and now I can actually choose a date from the date chooser, and I can give it a title, I'll call it new item, give it a subtitle, my title, subtitle. Give it a body or text, uh, my body of text. And you browse to find an image. So I'll go ahead and browse on my uh, local desktop. And let's go ahead and go to the uh, desktop and find an image. There you go. Just grab an image. And there's an image of uh, one of our close Super Mania friends. And uh, all you have to do at that point is hit Save Changes. And you can revert back to the old changes if you want to, or you can delete an item if you want to. But when you're happy with what you have, you can just go ahead and upload changes. And when you do that, that gets all uploaded to the server as long with, along with the image. And so uh, it's a great uh, file management system. And you go back and you click on that item, and you can see there the item is uh, right there and is coming from our server from the XML file. Let's go to the server side and show you what happened. 
So I'm in Fozilla right now, and I'm looking at my server folders, and I'm going to go to my public folder. And in my public HTML folder, I have my CMS, my content management system. Let's click on that. And I have uh, two sets of folders. We have an assets folder, a data folder, and two files here, the gateway uh, PHP file and the get path PHP file. We're going to work with those. But you can see the assets are the images that I've uploaded. And you can see there's several images, and there's the image I just uploaded. So from my desktop, I'm able just to shoot those images up to the server. Isn't that very nice? And now let's go to the data folder. And then data folder, that's my XML file. One moment. My data set XML file right there. So here's my XML file, and you can see the date and the new item and my subtitle and my uh, body of text and the HTML uh, or URL to the image I just uploaded to the server. So a great little content management system, and we're going to get it going right now. So our first task is to download and unzip uh, the code in Chapter 5 of the Create, Modify, and Reuse. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go up here to the Bookso website, and uh, we'll click on that and grab that code. And so here we are. Let me plug the YLAS a little bit. Here's a number of books they've created. Some of them are just really fantastic. And the one we're interested in here, of course, is the uh, Adobe Air book. And there it is, Adobe Air, Create, Modify, and Reuse. Click on that. And here we are at the books website. And let's scroll down a little bit. And there's a source code right there. Just let's download all the code from the book. Since we will be basically uh, using a lot of this code, it's, it's going to save me just tons and tons of time. This is a great book. It's actually kind of above the bar of most books uh, when it comes to development. It gives you tons of very usable code, where in the past you might just get example or snippets. This allows you to actually take some of this and uh, build better applications. I've already built a number of them and this one we're actually going to be grabbing the content management system here and hacking the heck out of it. We're actually going to take this to the next level but this code basically gives us a base to work with and I'm very excited to see they've written this book. I would say buy this book. So here's the code. It's uh, got this long number in front and then it says all code so let's extract that. He has all his chapters zipped, and we're interested in Chapter 5, so let's extract that as well. And now that we have the code of Chapter 5, we want to put all this into Adobe Flex. And so let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to copy this. And let's bring over Adobe Flex. And I want to create an Air application. So in Adobe Flex, he's just going to right-click on the screen here. Hit New, Flex Application. We'll call it My CMS. And we want to click on the red, little red icon here, Desktop Application, or run, Runs in Air. So hit Finish. And at this point, I'm just going to basically paste all the code from the uh, book's website. And I bring up the project that I just made, which is called my CMS. And in the source folder, I just go ahead and paste all that code. And when you open it up, uh, there you have it. Now, you're not quite ready to go yet. Uh, it says mini uh, CMS. I'm basically just going to save myself a little bit of headache. I'm going to copy all that from the uh, code that he's provided and I'll just paste it into my uh, blank application and I'm pretty much ready to go except guess what this is not going to run because there's a number of things I need to do to get it going there is a settings XML let's take a look at that and he's actually put in some of his own data and we're going to have to change that data, of course, to match our server. But now we have the code in our Adobe Flex application, and we're ready to start uh, putting in the other pieces to get this content management system up and running.